Hey everybody, we just got to do a short video on our off-grid trailer we just got. It's a 2022 and uh, we just kind of want to go over a few of the things that we like and dislike on it. So if you want, I'll just show you around here a little bit. So first of all, this section we're starting the back here. Got a back storage area. Looks it's got mainly my tools back here because I wanted to put all of the weight back here to start off to help take some of the tongue weight off. And that'll make it go down the road a little easier because I'm just pulling it behind a Jeep. Also, we got our leveling system down here. And I just got it going up on one side. This this trailer has the, the 21 inch independent rear suspension on it. That was an upgrade that I bought for it. And uh, it really makes a difference. So we pulled it down a great big trail getting in here. We're on uh, Drummond Island in Michigan. So the trails were pretty beat up from the UTVs and stuff. But... We wanted to get back here by the beach and uh, have a nice place to camp for the next two or three days. Let's close this back up. On this side over here, it's got an outdoor shower. It actually works pretty good. It took me a little bit to get the shower nozzle to work. The inside of this thing, it actually has weighted poles at the bottom. It keeps it pretty square even in the wind, which is, helps a lot. And it's got this thermal lining on it to help insulate the heat, to keep it inside of there when we're taking showers and stuff. It really made a big difference. I've used some of the shower curtains in the past, and it's not very good. So, but you can see, it's got its um, water heater and furnace on this one. And the water pump, and there's also a light. But we had a couple problems with the nozzle, the handle on this thing. It doesn't work very good and the the uh, nozzle switch doesn't turn off and on very well it's really hard so it's hard right now at the and you literally have to push down on it super hard to get it to work if we get home that's one of the first things we changed we're going to change out on this this is only our second trip in it and the first time using the shower so we'll kind of come on around this side and uh this is the battery station with the uh, inverter. It's got a 2000 watt inverter on it with the Canada Pro batteries on it. And then storage and a few other extra things in there and the main shutoff. The batteries seem okay. I mean, we're doing a lot with it. So I'm running a generator to charge it back up every day because it won't last for our, we just using too many things, charging batteries and cameras and all kinds of things. It's got a door on each side. It's fully insulated, independent doors on both sides. The screens are on this thing are one thing we're not very happy with. The mosquitoes actually fly up underneath the here and there's a crack between the seal and the window that's not tight. So the bugs actually fly up it. We were having major problems with mosquitoes. I mean, they were all over the place. So on the inside, if you can look in here, we, I added a few things. These shelves are just okay. I'm not really happy with them. I probably hit my head on that every time I get in and out. But they do fold up. But I like putting my stuff on them, but they're just um, not very good. I'd rather just have them here along the back wall here on this side. And it uh, has the uh, high flow air on the roof here that really helps to get the uh, hot air out it works great but the mosquitoes are a huge problem right now and this track here on the ceiling is open to the back it's just like a wire access and it lets bugs come in there and through the cabinet you can see on this one here i've added a a, a semi truck air conditioner air conditioning system on it i have the uh the zero breeze one uh, installed into this thing but I didn't bring I don't have that unit this thing was like eight hundred dollars compared to buying that thing for a thousand dollars and uh, it is a lot better it's a lot stronger than the other one so I'm gonna close this up for the bugs keep getting in here yeah. I didn't buy this one with the uh, camper on the roof I had my own eye camper already so we had that up there and I had to raise it with um, two inch square tubing to clear the high flow air 
flow system that raises up on it underneath of there so it's a little higher than it would be normally but at least i kept that so it kept working it has good storage on it we got a few of our things up here just lighter things and then it's got a a, a fully articulating joint for the uh, jeep it's just got a pin that goes through it and hooks on the jeep that swivels back and forth so it can actually go 360 if you wanted to we got the uh, 270 Omni on it. It's pretty nice. I really like that. It goes all the way around to the end. And it's got the uh, bigger refrigerator on it from Trauma. So that thing works great. It uses a lot of energy, but it will make it it'll make it overnight, no problem, as long as you go in with a full charge in the evenings. You can see my outside air conditioner. I mounted it on the fender. You know, it, it looks, you know, not the greatest thing in the world, but I mean, it will flat freeze you out of there in like two minutes. It's way better than that zero breeze one, in my opinion. But, and it's a lot cheaper. And honestly, I mean, I, I had it installed in just a couple days and it was easy to do. And I think it would run overnight on a set of batteries if they were fully charged. If you don't run it on high, you don't need to. You can really run it on the lowest setting possible and it would still be fine. So, but I think it's going to work out okay. We haven't really had a chance to try it all night long yet, but I'll probably get an extra set of batteries just to make it independent from the main ones. And we got the Bluetooth stereo on this one here. It works pretty good. Gas stove with a, a sink that's pressure pumped. And I don't know. It'll come with a, a table which slides in the back compartment on the top there. They should have, it seems like they just threw it up in there not realizing, but it will put scars on the table if it's stored upside down. And literally it can go in the other way around and not have this issue going on. And so but I think that was just a, something they didn't really pay attention to on assembly. Other than that, it's really dirty because we just pulled it down the nastiest dirt road getting in here in mud. <clears throat> oh, it's got um, all kinds of USB ports over here, which is really nice. And then um, the light here, it's got LED lights for the inside. Lights on the outside also, all kinds of controls on the inside for lights and a TV. Other than that, I don't know, we really like it so far. It's like 1,800 pounds dry. And over probably 3,000 with all this junk I got on here. But I'm just pulling it with a regular Jeep with a two, it's a 2.0 turbo. And it pulls it down the highway fine. I don't really have any issues on it, but I don't run the crap out of it. It'll do 70, no problem. Also, it has a uh, trickle charging system on it that helps maintain the battery when you're going down the road. It's built into the seven point harness. It, seems okay i don't know i'm not i'm not completely sold on that i'd really like to have some solar panels on my roof of my jeep that would stay fixed on there and charge it also because it has a plug-in around the side here above the shore power you can plug solar panels in here and have that running all the time so that would be pretty nice if i just figured out i think i'm going to try to just rig them up on the top of my jeep you can see on that it's just got a flat top on it for storage. I ain't really using it now because we've got the trailer doing all of the work. So I'll mount those up there and just leave them up there to charge this when we're traveling and probably just screw them on or something. And then the shore power we got hooked up to it because literally I'm having to charge it up every day with my uh, generator from Harbor Freight that works really good. It'll just an hour or so and it's fully charged again on that. If you had shore power, you wouldn't have no problems. 30 gallon water. And it's got 30 gallon water tank on the back for the um, shower and all that. And we ain't even got close to probably putting a dent in that. I guess, you know, really the only thing is that you need a bathroom and we just use a bucket, of course, uh, with a sack on it. Cause we try to capture everything and not leave anything behind. I'm like a lot of people that are really trashy in this spot we pulled in or leaving everything and uh, we're not going to do that you see i have a starlink communication system set up that thing works out pretty good i'll have to do a review on that sometime 
pretty fast. I can't really get the Wi-Fi calling to work on it, but we're that's brand new. That's something I just got, so we're trying to work on it, see what it does. It does do the TV. Hell yeah, and it'll stream the TV fast enough, so that works pretty good for that. Mm, what else we got? Oh yeah, you can see the other end of this here, the hitch. This swivels back and forth where that sits in there. So that's pretty nice. Works really good. What else? I think I'm going to have to get heavier springs for my Jeep because the airbags, I had one let go on the way here coming down that trail. I think it just put too much pressure on it and popped the line off. So I'll probably just go ahead and update the heavier springs and I won't have that problem next time. Other than that, this is just a short review. So only our first long weekend we're using it and we're in Dr on Drummond Island in Michigan. You can see our view. We got a great view. The cool thing about this thing is you can pull it anywhere. I literally pulled it right up here on the rock shore bank and we're here by ourselves and we got this great view all to ourselves. So we're really happy and having fun.